Welcome back guys to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, we're about to set sail on the Seven Seas towards our next chapter and our next crystal star, let's go sir! Ah oh, yes, so as you are, well sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. No! But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship, she's a fine vessel, no, I thought we were going straight away. She is the SS Flavion, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The Royal Majesty of a whole, the pomp and circumstance, none can compare to her. Ha! Behold the elegant curve of her prow, she cuts to the very soul, don't you agree? She is not just a beauty, she is a savage beast on the water that tops among sailboats. No of all, I tell you, this proud ship can... Ah, yes, did you speak? Yes, 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 of course. The problem has sprung up. I had completely forgotten about it, the SS Flavion, she bewitches me. Yes, well, here's the issue. We have no navigator, he ran off the dog. The navigator, of course, is the highest ranked helmsman. They steer ships, you know. Now, here is the real problem. The waters around Kilhawk Key are deathly dangerous. We need an absurdly skilled helmsman for our navigator. It is, uh, how you say, a pickle. Hooey, Flavio! Heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Do not tease me, Papatch. You can solve our problem and spit it out already. It's a naming convention there, ba bomb Papatch. Well, sir, I better talk of a fame, no? A legendary sailor living in Rogueport. Yeah, I think he's called Admiral Bobbery. Salty old sea dog by all accounts. He's said to have the helmsman touched there. He can make any ship bow to his will. I think we've already met him, if you know what I mean. We've rolled into his thing thanks to searching for Swindle. Thing is, there ain't a soul what's seen him on the seas of late. Bazaboom! Badaboom, Bazaboom. Okay, problem solved. Let's scout out this Bobbery fellow and get him on board. As is customary, my captain will handle all negotiations. That would be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? No complaints. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, aye. Sounds fair, sir. I'm on board. Good plan. Sure thing. Why is this, why is this obvious Lord Crump thinking that's a good plan? Then it's decided. You must find this Bobbery and bring him here. Our fortune sells with you. You're so obvious, sir. It's ridiculous. Still, want, still pleased to make our acquaintance. Do you know anything about him, then? Oh, yes. I'm going to be filthy rich. I can't wait to leave Fort. You must find this Bobbery and bring him with us. Okay. No one actually has any information on him. So we just have to find him by ourselves. But I think I know exactly where it is. So that's not a problem. Not a problem at all. Come, Miss Mouse. Or as we should call you, Treasure Seeker. You're like our very own mousy dousing rod. That's for sure. So, Admiral Bobbery is over here, or at least it should be him. There's no other nautical themed bomb hiding around anywhere. Hello, sir! You seek Admiral Bobbery? Never heard of the gent. Take your search elsewhere. No, you're him. You seek Admiral Bobbery? Never heard of the gent. Take your search elsewhere. No, you're him. Is there anything in here? Hmm, yes, there should be something somewhere nearby. I'm guessing it counts outside the room as well. Well, this is a this is a bind, sir. Can we go up your chimney? No, we can't. Right, I know you're having a robbery. Stop lying. Let the truth be known. Maybe I have to go back or something and say, oh, we found him, but he's not coming. Uh, can you help us? Maybe. This isn't a case where having the obvious answer is not the good thing. Do you know what I mean by that? There's sequences in games. There's sequences of events. Things you've got to do in a certain order. Because I know that he is obviously going to be Admiral Bobbery. It's like 100% obvious. It's ridiculously obvious. He's so stylized and built well, if you know what I mean. Like, these are normal bombs. That's Admiral Bobbery. Is there a sequence to take off? You found someone who matches Bobbery's description but claims he is not him? Strange. I would ask someone who's knowledgeable about the neighborhood about this. Like who? <laughs> oh yes, I'm gonna be filthy rich, right. Professor Frankly? There is a phrase known in games such as sequence breaking, where you can kind of do things a bit earlier than you should have been able to do them, or get like a power up too early and make yourself overpowered for at the start. There's things like games like Metroid that you supposedly can do that. Right, Professor Franklin, do you know anything? You're very knowledgeable of the local area, that's for sure. Bobbery? That old sea dog lives in the Eastside house right next door. 
They say he was a great and important sailor long ago. Well, that doesn't help. We know that's him. I mean, that's even 100% confirmed it. We're just going to have to search around to ask everyone then. Dare I say, ask my little brother. You look like you don't know nothing, so I'll teach you something. How about that here in Rogueport? As a world famous archaeologist, yeah, frankly, you know that. Fine, smart guy, I'll have a better tip next time. I'm sure you will. There are any more pirate types? Pirate types, great. From a bomb, blowing up is like throwing a punch for an ordinary bloke. If you want to leave the biggest impression, you gotta do it with perfect timing. My mum said that once you learn that timing, you're finding that other bomb. Ah, mum. Anyone? It means scram, don't talk to me, my heart's burning for my long lost love. Yes, I'm speaking of the extraordinary beauty at the juice shop in Glitzville. No matter how many times I flirted, she never paid me the slightest attention. I'm very sorry about that. Well, there's no pirate types up here. Do you know much? Because you're old. Oh, oh, Master Mario, haven't you found the... Oh, no, you're Toadsworth. Hmm, I certainly hope she didn't meet this syndicate I've been hearing of. Please don't wait another moment. You must find the princess. You must. Well, if there's ever a pillar of the community, Barman is probably it. Please be you. Ooh, there must be a star piece behind you. No, no siree. Not a single star piece. Well, that's... Ah, Admiral Bobbery? Yeah, yeah, I know him. Tell us more. You know that house just past the wall in the eastern part of town? That's his. That's the, the useless information. Well, I think both you and he would be better off if you just let him be. What kind of clue is here? Lots of people are telling me about things, but they're not really helping me in any way, shape, or form, are they? Someone who knows everything about town. Well, we've been to literally all the places, haven't we? Bobbery, what's up? I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. Now, if you please, drop the axe super stash. We already found out the animal probably. Aha! We only just have to talk to people in order for them to say, this is you. Hurumph! What poppycock? Tell me, what would you want with me if I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator and you want me to do the job, hmm? So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea never more. But that's just not cool. You want to see me beg or something? Is that it? You have to come along. Only you can get us safely to Keelhaw Key. Awfully sorry, dear boy. But I say no, what I mean is no. He's definitely English. Dear boy. Right. Oh, okay, Yoshi's got an idea. What's the next move, all is Yoshi? Chief, this salty dude is going nowhere fast. I can't figure this guy out. What's this beef with the ocean anyway? Know what we ought to do? Go find someone who knows what this dude's deal is. Back to Frankly. And then to the barman. They're the only two who actually identified him straight off, after all. I don't probably won't go to sea. That's a setback. Hmm, I don't know the man myself, so I don't know what to tell you, unfortunately. But I'd be willing to bet that Podney knows a thing or two. He works at the inn's cafe. That's not a cafe, it's a bar. Unless we're talking a different inn, but that's the only inn. That's the, well, it's the only inn, but it's not a bar. It's got kegs and it's got beer bottles and stuff. It's like not a bar, and I talked to the wrong guy. I tried to jump. You say Bobby won't go to sea, huh? Well, can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobbery back on the water? <laughs> oh, is that it? Now I see. You want to mount an expedition to kill Hawkey. I was caught by the rhyme there. Enough seas out there. Most sailors would meet their ends. Not old Bobbery, though. The fact of the matter is, I was wondering if there was more. Admiral Bobbery's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'll probably end up crying. But I'll tell it to you, if you really want me to. In that case, get ready. Bobbery's tale of woe goes something like this. Bobbery was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlett. The two of them were madly in love. The sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now, Bobbery was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlett never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. And Bobbery, his eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived, and found happiness where they could, and all was good for a time. But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. Virus? Passing cold? No one knew, but it soon turned serious. Probably at sea on a long, lonely voyage, knew nothing as bride's suffering. 
By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Probably, of course, blaming himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts, they tormented him always, haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. Gee, what a downer. I guess there's a pretty good reason for hating the ocean. You all know his tale now. So tell me, do you still want him to return to sea? We have no choice, really. Very well, I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. What's underneath the bar? We got an old letter. The letter Scarlet wrote to Bobbery on her deathbed. On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him, so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. When I saw Bobbery in misery, trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted it ever since. Yeah, I can understand that. I can understand regret. Please, take this letter. Do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. It might have gave him some peace. Listen, Polly, thanks a ton. We'll deliver this thing. You'll feel better, okay? Let's roll, Gonzalez. Oh, yeah. It's it's Gonzalez and I, Mario Da. I know your talk. Just want to jump over the bar. Stop talking to me, people. We just heard a sad story in which I wasn't sure whether to call her Scarlet or Scarlet. Because she had two T's in the name, after all, with an E at the end, so it's like Scarlet E or Scarlet. I don't know, but yes. Decisions, decision, Bobbery, we have Mel for you. What? Hope I Blaviton's beard, not you again. No matter how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now away with you. Pardon? A letter, you say? <laughs> for me? <laughs> What? Scarlet! This is Scarlet's handwriting! Scarlet, my love! My love, if you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you are out at sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you are one with me. Do not lose both your life's loves. Time like loves a tide, you are one with the sea, as you are one with me. A thousand pardons. May I have a moment alone, if you please? We're waiting. Yes, love, I was happy, my sweet, sweet Scarlet. I love you still. Not to be impatient about someone having their one moment away, but it was just kind of like Mario was looking around like, eh? Uh? Now then, you were looking for a navigator, I believe, bound for Kill Hawkey. Hmm, <laughs> you think an old sea bum like me is what you need? Then let's shove off. I'm a bobbery, yes! We've got ourselves another follower. Let's go, sir. The ship's in the harbor, hmm? Huh? I must inspect it before we leave. I shall meet you there. And finally, we can set sail at last. And we got ourselves an email. Is that yet another job email? Petuni, yoo-hoo. Hi, Mario, how are you? I'm uh, good, no, very good, no, great. Lots of stuff has changed here. Oh, but not the Elder Bean Man, my brother. That's still the same. I do wish you'd come back to play sometime. Are you really busy? Are you going someplace far away? Like a place nobody's ever been? Wow, that'd be fun. I'm jealous. Well, if you ever have time to come back here, come play with me, okay? You have to promise from Bachuni. And a picture as well with an egg. You had a kid or something? Or is this when you were a baby or something and that's your brother? I don't know. Well, maybe she's moving on with her life. I don't know. Can't really judge Petunies by... Well, Pet Petunies. Punies by their size as in age and whatnot, can you? There's not much to judge. Right, we've got everyone together. It's time to set sail. I knew you would get Bobby on board, you wonderful Miss Jess Man you. To you, I must say, ahoy! I was wise to choose you as captain. Ahoy to me as well. My men have already loaded our cargo and supplies, yes! Preparations are complete! 
If you have no errands, we can depart at once. What do you say? Shall we set sail? We shall indeed. Hey, well, to the sea. Raise anchor and set sails for frills and emotion. And romance and money. Our destination is dread. Keel hole key. Wait up. Oh, just you? Really? Okay. You could have jumped on any time, like now, or now, or now, or now. I hope you bring some, like, lemons or lime or some citrus fruits so we don't contract scurvy or anything like that. Scurvy is bad. This is X01 here. Come back, dude. I repeat. X01 here. Over. Roger. Reading you five by. Five by? Infiltration is successful. X0 Black aboard vessel. Repeat. X0 Black is on board the vessel. Is X0 Black Lord Crump? I'm betting on it. So we enter chapter five. What's it called? The key to pirates. Okay, the key to pirates. It's an interesting name. Month, star, day, XO. What? Over the protests of my crew, the SS Flavion has set sail. Is this voyage as reckless as they say? Ah, I'm a scoff. Flavio will show them guts. This is a long journey. Mount Star, day XX. Another day of good wind. White clouds, they dazzle me. It is as if they are blessing our voyage. Flavio thanks them most heartily. Is he going to enter diary entries forever? Month star, day X, music note. <laughs> Things are going smoothly and I am filled with dread. These dates, they're weird. At this speed, we should reach our destination by tomorrow's sunrise. Skull Captain Cass's gaze, red jewel shines and plays. Bombassa Boom Festival. How am I supposed to go do a tune to that? The Stash Brothers' best of friends, three times red stash lands on his end. Blue Stash's belly, four times his wax, let's hear this virus go boom! What? At the Boom Bassa Boom Festival! What? <laughs> yes, now we are talking! Flavio told you, did he not? Nothing to fear, no! The island is right before our eyes, do you not see it? It's a mountain of treasure! Ho ho ho, I feel fabulous! Shall I tell you one of my many tales of raw bravery? No, it is no trouble at all! I was locked in deadly combat with a sea serpent! Yes, but even then I smiled. If I knew I prefer. Great, he's starting again. A tele bravery, right? Heard this one yesterday. For he is Flavio, you know. A huge drink of man eater, but even now, you know. I could take him, yes. Well, you guys can read that. I'll read the rest. There's nowhere to escape to. We just have to listen until he's finished. Yeah, if you interrupt him mid story, he absolutely loses it, too. Uh, why is the. What? Wait, what's going on here? The ship's stopping. Something's going on here. Hoi, Master Flavio, awfully sorry to interrupt that wicked story, but the ship stopped. Huh? Stopped, you say to me? After interrupting a story of passion and fury? Well, it is your job to keep the ship moving, yes? Hmm? So take care of it. Oh, aye, aye, Flavio, I can it right quick. Wait a tick. It's a very ghostly kind of noise we've got going on here. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just wait a Goomba stomping moment, you scallywags. Stars went out. Oi, quit shoving, eh? I'm working over here. I said quit shoving. That was a weird scared noise. Yes, keep the fire away from the heavy explosives. The, the, the rear! What is this ruckus now? Who is here? Will someone tell me what is going on? Ooh. No, they're upon us! The pirate ghosts! All of the rumors were true! Ooh. What do we do? We gotta get out of here! Ah! Don't panic yourselves, it's just a dream that we're all having. Awake! Now, now quickly move the boat! Ooh. Ooh. The ghosts, they come! 
Ho, ghostly wing thing! Are you really the savage pirate king? Hi! Help me! Fuck up now, everyone! Remain civilized! Relax! Don't panic! Relax, 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 I say! You simply must take it easy! Uh, what? Wah! Excuse me, listen, everyone! You can form an orderly line without showing! Forget that! Make a path! We're abandoning ship! Bobbery, look alive, man! Hi! We must get out of here! Abandon ship! Every rich, marvelous merchant for himself! Sinking we are indeed. 